Good afternoon. I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. Hundreds of individuals from various sectors took to the streets in UP Diliman to protest the passing of the anti-terror bill. Participants of the indignation rally wore masks and practiced social distancing as they lamented the measure for allegedly encroaching on civil rights. Representatives from Anakbayan said the anti-terror bill could be used as an instrument for state agents to crack down on dissenters and ordinary citizens who are critical of the government. They called on officials to jump the bill, which was passed by the House of Representatives on third and final reading last night. Rights advocacy groups, as well as the Human Rights Commission, are also up in arms against the measure. The CHR says the bill's broad definition of terrorism paves the way for possible abuse and could limit substantial freedoms, including expression of dissent or mere critical opinions against the government. Miss Universe Queens Pia Wurzbach and Catriona Gray also condemned the anti-terror bill on a series of Twitter and Instagram posts. 2018 Miss Universe Catriona Gray said that based on her research, she came to the conclusion that the bill should be jumped. Miss U 2015, Pia Wurzbach also used the hashtags Junk Terror Bill and Activism is Not Terrorism on her posts. And Speak Now singer Taylor Swift has also joined the chorus of voices calling to strike down the controversial, the controversial measure. The pop star shared information and donation links to several causes such as Black Lives Matter Canada and the Junk Terror Bill petition. Here are other headlines we're keeping our eyes on. Religious gatherings in areas under modified GCQ can now accommodate up to 50% of the venue seating capacity. Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara says that this is based on the IATF's amended omnibus guidelines. Such gatherings are still subject to minimum health standards such as one meter physical distancing, wearing of face masks, sanitizing of hands, and zero physical contact. The government of Manila released safety guidelines for tricycles and pedicabs that have resumed operations in the city. The guidelines include wearing of face masks for drivers and passengers, as well as the installation of plastic separators between them. Only one passenger will be allowed per trip, and trips cost 20 pesos for the first kilometer and 5 pesos for each subsequent half kilometer. And the malaria drug that U.S. President Donald Trump has been touting as a shield against COVID-19 turns out to be a dud. Results of a study published the new, by the New England Journal of Medicine so that hydroxychloroquine was not, no better than placebo pills at preventing the SARS-like disease. The study of Dr. David Boulware, an infectious disease expert at the University of Minnesota, involved 821 people in the United States and Canada living with someone diagnosed with COVID-19 or was at high risk of infection because of their job. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.